My name is Tina Patel and today I wanted to talk a little about a bit more about sort of cracks in buildings and the sort of trigger word seems to be subsidence and uh, customers sort of seeing more and more as we get sort of warmer summers, cracks in their buildings, starting to make claims against their insurance and insurance companies sort of saying that this is subsidence, um, which is obviously something that everybody tends to fear because that increases insurance premiums and also as a result you, you'll struggle to buy insurance going forward. Um, so the first thing around this is, is what constitutes a crack that you something you should be concerned about. Obviously, as we get sort of the warmer summers, we're starting to see ground swell up, <clears throat> dry out, and the buildings that we've currently got in the building stock, particularly some of the older building stock, isn't designed for these warmer summers that we're having. So we're starting to see increased sizes in the cracks, and we call these sort of settlement cracking. So you'll, you'll see that in buildings, over time, they start to move, shape, distort slightly um, as you go through winter and summer, and as a result, you do get cracking in buildings. This is all quite normal. So when you start to see this sort of cracking, what should you do? In the first instance, you'll want to monitor it. Quite simply, the kind of the most simplest way is take a ruler to it, mark a date with a pencil and say, this is how big the crack was on this date. Go back in sort of three months and see if that's changed. If you start to see quite significant change, <coughs> And you probably want to start to have a look at it a little bit more. Um, and one of the things that we'd recommend is getting an independent building surveyor to have a look at it. An independent building surveyor will be able to identify the cause of the crack. What we found increasingly so in a couple of instances recently in a number of projects, customers have advised their insurance company. Insurance companies have got in their sort of claim surveyors in and they've subsequently labelled it as subsidence and then make a small sort of payout towards the subsidence, um, perhaps caused by a tree that happens to be about 30 meters away from, from the cracks or something in relation to drains. When we've then gone into the property in relation to other works that we might be doing, we wanna take a step back and really understand, actually, is that drain maybe about 10 meters away? Is it possible that that could cause those cracks in, in, in that particular part of the property? And nine times out of 10, what we're finding is that that is not the cause of the cracking. And so you might end up in a situation, if you'd go down the sort of insurance route, clear cut, that actually that's not solving the problem, but also it's increasing your insurance problem. So it's always useful to get an independently verified kind of position on that, which is why in both of the instances that I'm talking about, we've requested the customers to pay for an independent building surveyors report. And those are gonna probably cost you anywhere between 500 to about 750 pounds. But it's well worth spending that money if you think about how much your insurance premium might increase and how much harder it will be for you to buy insurance in the future if you have been labeled as having subsidence and equally how much harder it will be for you to sell your property and remortgage if you have subsidence listed on your property. <coughs> so with those two instances, what we found is the surveyor's report fundamentally said that this wasn't subsidence. This is sort of settlement cracking as a result of sort of the dry or warmer weather that we're having. And subsequently, we were able to find a solution that fixed the cracking for the long term without making a claim against the insurance. And I think that's the key here is you do not want to fall in the trap of unnecessarily having subsidence labelled on your property if there is no cause. So in order to re remedify it, in, in some instances, we might get a structural engineer who's part of doing some of the works anyway in and they will say, actually, we need to put some straps in on these cracks after we've monitored them and then plaster over. And that's not caused any further issues. We may resin infill and inject the cracks. Um, and again, you know, over time you will get settlement cracking, but generally that will solve the kind of large expansion that we've got as the weather's got warmer, that's caused some of the deterioration. One thing when you do start to see cracks like this is just to kind of understand, you know, how long has it been since you've started to see them? And quite often when we start asking these sort of questions with customers, we're finding that they say, well, actually it only happened after the summer last year. And if you recall last year, 2022 summer, we were talking about sort of in excess of 35 degree heat, which hasn't really been experienced in this country. So you'd expect to see that kind of cracking. Um, and so when they then subsequently kind of investigated this, it has led to kind of, insurance company spuriously claiming that it was a cause of a, a, a tree that had been taken down about 10 years ago. So, I, I, you know, you need to be able to look at cause and effect, some of the building science behind it, get a sort of bit more of a conclusive position from a professional RICS building surveyor um, and assess it against that because you may find yourself not needing to do work um, as part of a larger project in relation to the cracks 
um, relative to sort of subsidence. And, you know, there are instances, obviously, where people do suffer from subsidence. But in most cases, what we're finding recently is when people are claiming it's subsidence, quite often, once we've had it assessed by professionals, it's not turning out to be subsidence. So just a little helpful video there on heat cracking or heat related cracking rather and um, when and when it might not be subsidence. <laughs>